Hey everyone, and welcome to Top Think. Today we're going to learn about 15 psychology tricks that always work. Now let's begin. Number 1. Playing Pretend Meeting new people can be an uncomfortable experience. When you're surrounded by strangers, you might feel awkward or nervous, and negative emotions may impact the way you talk or behave. So how do you trick your brain into meeting new people? To overcome those uncomfortable feelings, just pretend they're not there. Usually, stuffing down your emotions is not a good solution, but this is one of the rare cases when playing pretend works in your favor. So if you're talking to a stranger and you're feeling uncomfortable, just pretend you two are old friends. Make believe you're having a great time and you're feeling comfortable. Not only will you feel less awkward by playing pretend, but you'll also make a better impression on the people you meet. Number 2. Positive Reinforcement Here's another trick you can use when talking to strangers. When they start talking, pick a unique word like incredible or juxtaposition. Every time the other person says that word, give them an encouraging piece of body language like a nod or a smile. The other person will become subconsciously convinced that you support and agree with them so they'll start using that word more often. You might notice them saying the word over and over, thanks to your positive reinforcement. Number 3. Work in your sleep Are you a procrastinator? Do you drag your feet every time something new falls on your plate? This psychological trick can be an easy solution to get any procrastinator started on their work. Alright, let's say you're trying to work on a project, but you just can't get started. You always find new things to do, filling your time with chores, errands, and time-wasting distractions. So how do you get yourself motivated in working? Try taking a short nap. Now, this might sound like more procrastination, but falling asleep can be a critical part of the process. The key is to think about your work while you're falling asleep. With work on the brain, you might dream about being productive and finish the entire job in your mind. When you wake up, you'll feel motivated and ready to work. Why? Because your brain, while you were asleep, did a significant portion of the work. All you have to do now is translate your thoughts onto the page. Number 4. Set Learning Goals what psychological tricks can you use to accomplish your goals? Many people set performance goals to achieve long-term dreams and acquire new skills. A performance goal is something like, I want to make more money, or I want to run five miles. These kinds of goals can be helpful when you succeed, but what happens when you fail? Performance goals can be discouraging. When you miss one of your goals, you might feel like a failure. That's why psychologists suggest a different kind of goal. Instead of a performance goal, try using a learning goal. A learning goal includes knowledge you want to learn instead of feats you want to achieve. For example, I want to learn three new business strategies or I want to improve my knowledge of physical fitness. These attainable knowledge-based goals help you improve without making you feel like a failure. Number 5. Eat away your stress if you're feeling stressed or overwhelmed, how can you help yourself calm down? Eating can easily pacify your nervous brain. It tricks your brain into calming down even when you're stressed and anxious. But not all foods help you unwind. According to Harvard University, foods rich in nutrients like magnesium, zinc, and omega-3 fatty acids can reduce feelings of anxiety, specifically social anxiety. Other studies have shown similar benefits from chewing gum, which mimics the act of eating without consuming any food. So eat something the next time you get nervous. Whether it's a healthy meal or just a stick of gum, eating is a huge relief when you're in over your head. Number 6. Moderate your control Sometimes, your worries are more complex than a healthy meal can handle. So what do you do when your worrying spirals out of control? From professional ambitions to relationship struggles, your biggest problems boil down to one psychological conflict. You want control. You want to control the direction of your career. You want to control the happiness of your relationship. But there are very few things in life that you can actually control. So here's an easy trick you can use to relieve your worries and doubts. Every time you're worrying about a problem, just ask yourself one simple question. Is this something I can control, or is this problem out of my hands? Most of the time, you'll realize just how little you can control 
and that takes a lot of the stress off your shoulders. Number 7. Social Contracts Your loved ones play an important role in your personal success. If you want to trick yourself into achieving more, then ask someone you care about to sign a social contract. In other words, find someone to hold you accountable for your goals. Tell someone about what you want to accomplish. Check in with them on a regular basis and give them specific dates to expect improvements and results. To really make the most of this trick, don't just say these things out loud. Write out a physical contract on a piece of paper and actually sign it. Then give it to your friend, co-worker, or whoever else is holding you accountable. That physical contract transforms your hypothetical goals into real, unavoidable challenges, and that raises your chances of finding success. Number 9. Candid Weaknesses do you humble brag? Do you pretend to complain about your weaknesses when really you're advocating for your strengths? Humble bragging really gets on people's nerves. They can see right through your shallow attempts to show off, and it leaves a bad taste in their mouths. So instead of sharing pseudo-weaknesses with the people you meet, be open about your actual weaknesses. You don't have to spill your deepest insecurities, but it's okay to admit real small weaknesses like, I have trouble with public speaking, or I'm not the most organized person in the world. These weaknesses make you more relatable, approachable, and likable, so don't be afraid to say them out loud. Number 10. Contagious Excitement Here's another psychological trick to help you make strong first impressions. Before you interact with someone you don't know very well, find ways to boost your own mood. Get excited, do something that makes you happy, give yourself an ego boost because your positivity rubs off on the people you meet. They'll see your confidence and excitement and they'll mirror those same feelings. Suddenly they associate you with positive emotions and they look forward to seeing you again. And just like that, you can turn a new, awkward interaction into an uplifting connection. Number 11. Communicating Kindness Excitement isn't the only contagious emotion. Kindness spreads just as quickly, especially when you're communicating with new people. For example, if you want to establish a friendly rapport with a stranger, then show them kindness and empathy. If they recognize your kindness, they're much more likely to return the favor. As an added bonus, being kind to others encourages you to be kind to yourself. Number 12. Pinpoint Bystanders If you need something, don't ask a group of people for help. Instead, pinpoint a specific individual and ask them directly, and they're much more likely to help you out. This psychological trick relies on the bystander effect. The bystander effect describes our natural tendency to stand on the sidelines when someone needs help because we assume another person will rise to the occasion. When you pinpoint a specific person, you're eliminating the bystander effect and you're motivating that specific individual to take action. Number 13. Binding Commonalities How do you form quick yet strong bonds with the people you meet? Whether it's a new employer or a new friend, one of the best ways to connect with a stranger is to find common ground. We're naturally drawn to people who share our attitudes, hobbies, and interests. We assume they're smarter, funnier, and more successful because we can relate to their interests. No matter who you're talking to, search for commonalities that bind the two of you together because one shared interest can transform your relationship. Number 14. Between the Eyes Does eye contact make you nervous? Many people are afraid of this powerful form of body language. But you don't have to stare into someone's eyes to make eye contact. Instead, look between their eyes at the bridge of their nose. This gives the illusion of eye contact without feeling uncomfortable or vulnerable. Number 15. Psychological Boosts Do you feel like you're stuck in a rut? Do you feel cloudy or unmotivated? You might be struggling to move forward because you're bored of the routines that you do every day. To infuse more excitement into your life and gain a burst of motivation, try doing the opposite of what you normally do. Mix up your schedule, eat something completely different for breakfast. If you like to go outside, then stay in. If you like to stay in, go outside. Your brain craves novel stimuli. That's why mixing up your day can give you a big psychological boost. 
Hey, thank you for watching Top Think and be sure to subscribe because more incredible content is on the way.